Let's move on now to our third topic of the day. Ashley, what is our third main topic today? Third one is from Sidhu Navanthia. Hey, John, Rob, and Ashley. I was just reading that Angelina Jolie may be in talks to star in the upcoming MCU Eternals movie directed by Chloe Zhao. I, for one, think that it'd be really cool to see what she could bring to a superhero movie, and she'd have a good mass audience appeal to put more butts in seats. Thoughts? Well, I mean, I don't know if there are stars today, even the star of the star power of an Angelina Jolie automatically just brings people out. But it is yet another thing here, Rob. Here it is. Ho-hum. Another Academy Award winner coming into the comic book movie universe and being in Eternals. Now, the big question here for a lot of people, there's a lot of people who still don't even understand what the Eternals are and who and what they are, the connections to Celestials and all that kind of stuff. Rob, just give people a little quick breakdown. Well, uh, what uh, are okay. the Eternals when they hear people talking about it? They're, they're just essentially... I mean, in a nutshell, and this is this is just a complete. They're another superhero team. Hmm. They just are a different kind of a superhero team. They have they have deep connections to the Marvel cosmic universe. There's a pantheon of characters. They they have all kinds of different powers. They're imbued with some of them have limitless powers, and and I think that that. What the Guardians of the Galaxy? They're, they're imagine the Guardians of the Galaxy being the blue collar cosmic super team. These are like <laughs> these are the Wall Street power brokers, right? You know, of, of the of the of the MCU and 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 it it. I mean, they're they're not quite the Celestials and the Eternals. There's, it's 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 very complex and difficult. It, it's hard to get into. But what's great is because you have to do what they did with Guardians. They they've only touched on these things on very uh, the, on the periphery. We don't really know right. much about the Eternals at all. I think by bringing in and anchoring the team, anchor, and I don't know how they're gonna. I don't know how they're gonna get into that. You know, it's uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how they do that. But having Angelina Jolie immediately gives them credibility, and I think again, it's a really shrewd move on the part of Marvel. Because they're introducing an entirely different kind of concept, and they're talking about how the Eternals have been around for thousands of years, and I've read that they're going to they're going to cover that period of time, like in in the movie, maybe with time jumps or things like that. Which so it's going to be once again a different approach to uh, introducing us to this whole concept, and I think having an Angelina Jolie and somebody there's going to have to be somebody a, a male co star of her same ilk and she's going to attract other people that want to work with her and i I, you know just like having kate blanchett play hella Mm. you know it immediately it immediately gives the movie gravitas and when she shows up and shatters molnir molinar molnir um molnir um and and when she does that immediately you're like "Oh, oh, oh i believe kate blanchett can pose that much of a threat to not only thor himself but asgard as a whole and it just it's it's a way of 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 making giving elevating this material simply by having people in it that bring a bring their baggage with them to to the benefit of the project. And I think it's a great shrewd move. I mean, look, she was look at the way she looked at playing Maleficent. I mean, well, she's, I mean, yeah, that was she's crazy good. I mean, if she brings that kind of and she will, she'll bring the noise. That's why they they and she probably said, sure, I'd love to do this. And it's great for all of us. You know, now, for those who don't know, so the Celestials in um, in Guardians of the Galaxy, that was Ego, the living planet, from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. He was one of the Celestials. Nowhere in Guardians of the Galaxy, the big floating head space station, was the severed head of a Celestial. They were these yes. ancient, ancient beings. So they created, the Celestials created a race that were called the Eternals. Now, they also created another race that were kind of like the antithesis of them, and they started with a D, and I can't remember what the name of that subgroup was. But anyway, the whispers I'm hearing is that one of the things in the movie is going to be a romance between Icarus and Cersei, and that maybe that's here too, but I haven't heard any kind of confirmation on that. But look, it's never a bad idea. I always say it is never a bad idea to add talent. And in adding an Angelina Jolie... And adding in another Academy Award winner, 
you're just adding more talent. And it's I think what Rob is pointing out is really correct. It's going to raise a lot of eyebrows. Go, Angelina Jolie's joined the MCU now too. And you're right, it's going to attract even more people to it. And it's just another step in the whole evolution of this whole thing. So let's keep our eye on it. But it's going to be interesting to see, Rob, because there are a lot of people who, like, like Guardians of the Galaxy, have no idea what the Eternals are. Well, and I also it's, it's going to be see if they can straighten that out. You know, the Eternals have a much more of a, of a science fiction fantasy bent to them as opposed to being super heroic. Right. Sure, there's characters, they've got powers and things like that, but but the, it, it's much more along the lines of broadening the kind of stories they can tell within the MCU. And I think for people that might be initially turned off about superheroes, those people that are much more attracted to fantasy characters, to science fiction characters, are going to find a lot more to dig into with the Eternals.